In a war zone, the will to survive is all important. And it can be like an incubator for inventive ideas. The lack of access to diesel and cooking gas is what motivated the launch of this rudimentary oil processing operation. There is no access to enter our area. Same with the food. We are fully under siege. Nothing gets in, even the cooking gas. This was the reason to find the solution. Eastern Ghouta is only 15 kilometers from Syria's capital, Damascus. But people in this opposition-held area are living in a sealed-off world. Since 2013, they've been trapped between Syrian forces and opposition fighters. So the workers here buy and salvage any plastic they can get their hands on. DVDs, grocery store bags, and large containers. They burn it all until it becomes this dark brown liquid. Yasser Al-Harabi admits it isn't the best quality. I swear because of this diesel we are making, most of the vehicles have been damaged. But it's the only option and it works. The homemade cooking gas and diesel are powering hospital generators, bakeries, motorcycles and cars. It's a gritty job and there's no safety gear. The smoke, the garbage, the dirt and the disease, they all come from burning the plastic. These men may not be fighting on the front line, but they are risking their lives on this vacant lot. A number of them have died in explosions at these makeshift factories in Syria. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Gaziantep, Turkey.